Hello there. This video is going to talk about silicon powered rocket, armor, portable hard drive repair, and data recovery. This is the outlook of this hard drive, front, back, and the label. This is the hard drive after removing the enclosure. Silicon power rocket armor portable hard drive problems can be categorized into three. Problem one, SATA to USB adapter damage. Problem two, hard drive PCB board damage. Problem three, hard drive disk assembly damage. Problem one, SATA to USB adapter damaged. Solutions, one, Fix the adapter directly. 2. Connect the hard drive to another SATA to USB adapter or external enclosure or another computer. Problem 2. Hard drive PCB board damage. Solutions 1. Fix the PCB board. 2. PCB board swap. For most cases, PCB board swap is much more easier than fixing the PCB board. PCB board swap step 1. Find the correct donor PCB board. Open the hard drive enclosure and find out the brand name of the hard drive and the hard drive model number. The PCB board number is on the component side of the PCB board. You have to take off the PCB board and uh, find the very, very tiny number on the green PCB board. For most people, uh, they do need the magnifier. I enlarged the number with a picture. You can take a close look. I know it is not convenient, but uh, it is the way the hard drive is. And also, this number is very important. We use this number to find the uh, identical donor controller board. Different brand name, different PCB board. The PCB board numbers are different. You may go to hdd-parts.com to check out other brand name PCB board numbers. After knowing the hard drive model number, and the PCB board number, you may use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. If you have a problem to find the PCB board number, you may just enter the hard drive model number and some information from the hard drive PCB board and then go to hdd-parts.com to find similar hard drive, similar PCB board number. From there, you can find out your own PCB board number. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, 
PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. If the hard drive disk assembly is damaged, we can do disk data recovery to recover the data from the disks. The common symptoms of hard drive disk assembly failure are the following. 1. Hard drive makes weird sound. 2. Spin nicely but no access to any computer. 3. Hard drive no spin. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.